Sacramento State gets a national spotlight today. Dr. J. Luke Wood will appear on the Jennifer Hudson Show to talk about his amazing journey from struggling student to the school's president. I went off to, to college at Sacramento State and I immediately fell in love with the campus. And so I'm the president of the campus that I went to school at. Exactly. Right? Which is amazing. Woo! So. How do you feel now that you achieved that? I, you know, I feel great because I, by the time I was in my, my sophomore year of college, I was very involved on, on campus and student life, and I was obnoxious mm. about telling every single person that I was going to be the president of Sacramento State. That's truly what I've been working for this whole time, not because of the title, mm -hmm. but because of the impact that you can have on other people's lives. And we are joined live this morning by Sacramento State President Dr. Luke Wood to talk about that appearance. And doctor, that must have been so special for you to get to share your mission before a national audience. How was it? Oh, it was a it was a lot of fun. It was a, an amazing opportunity um, to, to be on the show and to talk about Sacramento State and what it's done for me and what we're trying to do for the students. Uh, it was just a, an amazing experience. And and I'll say that she's a, an incredibly kind person um, in person and just um, it was very enjoyable. What do you think uh, touched Jennifer's heart about your story? You know, I think it, it's really the, the fact that, you know, like many of the students at Sacramento State, you know, um, I have a journey that I've been through, right? Um, and things haven't always been easy, but, you know, what we do is we, we provide anybody and everybody, no matter what background you come with, with the opportunity to create a better life for yourself and for your family. And I think that the, the story of, uh, of beginning, you know, being born in prison and, you know, and ending up now being the, the president of, of Sacramento State, that that's a, that's a trajectory that I think touched her, touched her heart. And you really spoke it out into the universe. I am going to be president. You said at one yeah. point you were being very obnoxious, but you spoke it into the universe and it became a reality. How do you think this can inspire other youth, especially those facing challenges right now? Well, I'd like for folks to, to take away from it this is like, if Luke can do it, anybody can do it, right? So, you know, I, I think that when I hear from our students is that, you know, my my journey, you know, and, and, and my life is, you know, at times a source of inspiration for them. You know, if they're struggling with food insecurity or housing insecurity, they're person of color, former foster youth, low income, whatever that, that background might be, I, there's a connection that, that I have with the students on that because that's been my experience too. And so, um, you know, and one of the things that I tell the students is this, is that, you know, I went through a lot of challenges and I know that many of them are going through a lot of challenges. But I, what I say is that the good experiences that you have in your life and sometimes even more so the bad ones, they perfectly prepare you for the next step in your life and for your purpose in this world. And so that's the, the message that I want to share with students is no matter what, just keep grinding, just keep pushing forward because you are you know, worthy of the, the greatest things and great things are yet to come. Absolutely. You're so relatable to your students. And can you give us a sneak peek of a new initiative that you shared and unveiled on the show? Yeah. So on the show, we um, uh, it unveiled our Black Honors College, which is an honors college that's specifically designed to serve students who are interested in Black history, life, and culture. So it's really its own entity within uh, Sacramento State. So it's a really exciting initiative. It has its own uh, dean of students and, uh, and support staff, eight different staff members, 17 faculty members on release time. We've got over 6,000 square feet of space in the heart of our, of our library that we've set aside. So they have their own seminar room. They have their own student center. They have their own office space. So we've created an institution within the institution that's specifically designed to serve students who are interested in that. And they take their entire general education pathway in the Honors College with faculty members who've been hand-selected based upon a demonstrated record of success in serving students who identify as Black and African American. So we're creating an opportunity. And here's why that matters. Most people don't know this. Sacramento State is home to the largest population of Black and African American students in the entire California State University system. Out of all 23 institutions, no one serves more Black students than, than we do. And so we have that, and, and we've been recognized by the California legislature, by the Legislative Assembly, as a Black-serving institution. But we also serve you know, as a, a what's called a Hispanic-serving institution, which means that we have a large population of Latinx students. We're an Asian-American, Native American, Pacific Islander-serving institution, which means that we serve a lot of students who identify as Asian Pacific Islanders. So we're this diverse, uh, but fa this diverse melting pot and a wonderful experience. And so we want to talk about and highlight the fact that no matter who you are, come to Sacramento State because we'll be fighting Perfect. for you. Dr. Lukewood, thank you so much for inspiring us. You are fired up and ready to go. And we are cheering you on for today's big interview on the Jennifer Hudson Show. Thank you. Thank you.
and you can join student and faculty at Sac State for a special watch party for the show today. It's on campus in the University Redwood Room at 2 p.m. And you can also tune in this afternoon over on KCRA as Dr. Wood announces that new initiative for Sacramento State on the show. Shortly after that is the Kelly Clarkson show at three. And then, of course, stick around for the news at four. Love his energy. Yes, you know, he is excited. You want to change culture where you are? <laughs> go spend a little time watching him work.